So in this video, we are working with synthesis, specifically questions with all, none, one of, not one. And basically the key concept here is deciding singular or plural verbs for singular or plural subjects. But before I begin, I'm at nine subscribers, so that makes me extremely happy. And it's one away from a two digit number, so yay! Let's begin. Exercise one. And question one, the girls did not guess the correct answer to the question. So none of the girls, yeah? Next, we have to pay attention to the, the words did not. This tells us we are using the past tense. So none of the girls guessed the correct answer to the question. Make sure that you're using the past tense. Question two, all the shoes that she tried on did not fit her. Well, first thing I notice is we're using the past tense which means I, it would be good to know the past tense of fit, which is fitted. So she did try on the shoes, but none fitted her. That is the answer. So she tried on all the shoes, but none fitted her. And question three, every child in the class is. Okay, the reason why is singular is used here, because every child is singular. Every makes the verb, of, makes the subject singular, which means you take on a singular verb but once we use all it is plural when we are dealing with countable nouns so we cannot use child again so that's the that's the first thing so all the children in the class make sure you keep uh, the tenses the same so in this case it's present your answer here should be in present tense as well except now you're using the plural form are so all the children is plural therefore we do not use is we use are invited to the party Question 4. All is plural, especially when you're dealing with countable nouns. Next, we are using the past tense here and the plural form. Again, why? Because all the paintings were. That's plural. Not so at the auction. So next, not one of. Now, you notice one of? That is singular. So not one of the artist's paintings was sold. First thing, notice we are using the past tense still. Next, we changed were, plural, to was, singular. Why is that? Because not one of the artist paintings that is singular. So singular subject, take on a singular verb. And question five, every student. Okay, first thing I notice, every student is singular. Therefore, has, uh, that is in present and it's singular. Donated money to the president's challenge charity drive. Make sure that you, in your answer, write everything there in capital letters do not make careless mistakes so the answer here is all of the students in this class notice every student without s but once you use all you have to use uh, students with s so all of the students in this class keep it in the present tense has so present tense have except we are using have the plural form why all the students that is plural so it takes on a plural verb have donated to the president's challenge charity drive that's it don't forget our full stops and now exercise two where we will use opposites okay first question all the children fishing are female so children fishing and all of them are female in present tense so basically girls are fishing all girls no boys all right so not one of the children fishing is male do you see the difference here all when you're dealing with countable nouns is plural whereas not one of is singular so you use the singular form is plus when we say all are female that is equivalent that is the same as saying not one of them is male this is what i mean by using opposites question two we forgot to wash the laundry before leaving home. None of, okay, hang on. What's the opposite of forgot? It's remember, isn't it? So not one of us, okay, remembered to wash the laundry before leaving home. So because we are using the past tense, it doesn't really matter. So forgot is in the past tense, remember is in the past tense, no problem. So we are not concerned with, is there an S or is there no S, right? singular or plural question three not one of the questions was easy well take a look at what's going on here not one is singular 
therefore was is singular as well and it's in the past tense well saying not one was easy is the same as saying all difficult yeah so the opposite of easy is difficult the question is uh, do we use a singular verb or a plural verb the answer is plural why because all is plural when you're dealing with countable nouns keep it in the past tense still do not use are are is plural that's correct but follow what was used in the question past tense so you can either say all of the questions were hard or all of the questions were difficult question four none of the clothes in this laundry bag is dirty okay so none of is singular and is in present tense and in the singular form so all of the clothes in this laundry bag are clean does that make sense because if none dirty that's the same as all clean using opposites here Antonyms, to be more specific. What are antonyms? Antonyms are words or with an opposite meaning. And the last question of this exercise, all of John's books are old. Okay, so all is plural, therefore R is plural, in the present tense, by the way. Now, all old is the same, is the same as saying none are new, correct? So none new. Now, why is? Because if you recall, none is always singular. So none of is singular, therefore is new notice we are using the present tense still exercise three question one everybody which is singular therefore is going on the field trip today uh, using the present tense so when we change it to all okay now we don't know if it's students or people we are not going to say all the students all the people all the all the children we don't know just say all are okay so all is plural therefore are is used all are going on the field trip today so make sure you understand everybody is taken as singular in english therefore we use a singular verb but all when you're dealing with people which is countable you use are the plural form keep both in present tense question two every is singular therefore has which is singular the opportunity to sign up for the exchange program in june so the answer is therefore all pupils notice we cannot use pupil yeah all pupils with s make sure all is plural and have is in the plural form as well the opportunity to sign up for the exchange program in june don't forget full stops capital j and all that make sure you don't make spelling mistakes with tricky words like that question three two stars which means level two having sufficient sleep now having sufficient sufficient means enough uh, sleep contributes now you may ask you might ask yourself contributes with s does that mean singular yeah now why is it singular because having something is singular this is a what we call a gerund and that is singular okay anyway one off is also singular but here is the thing about this question you have to change the form of contributes okay so one of the contributions to good health Right, you have to ch you have to uh, change the form of this word okay from this a verb to a noun so one of the contributions to good health is to have enough sleep sufficient sleep and next thing is uh, one of is singular therefore is singular we did not want to go to the botanic gardens for a picnic okay first thing did is in the past tense so we know we have to use the past tense so instead of we, we're going to say none of us wanted in the past tense okay, to go to the botanic gardens for a picnic. Not one of the boys helped. Now that's the saying, oh wait, how many boys helped? Zero. Not one of the boys helped at all. Now that's the same as saying all of the boys did not help, right? And notice I said did not help. Why? Because this is the past tense. This is in the past tense. So all of the boys did not help Tom when he fell down the stairs. Make sure you use the past tense, did not help. Exercise 4. First question, 2 stars, level 2. Let's see. Every child that is singular, therefore present tense, and singular is receiving a gift voucher from the teacher. So we can't say all the child. We have to say all the children in the class and make sure when you're using all for a countable noun you use the plural form are okay don't use were we are not using the past tense here otherwise everything there is the same receiving gift vouchers from the teacher 
Oh, another thing about this question is, you notice every child is receiving a gift voucher, right? A, right? Each of them getting one. But when you're dealing with everybody in the class, they are receiving gift vouchers. So that's another part that might cause uh, students to trip up, right? It's difficult here. We did not understand what Kevin said. So notice we're using the past tense. We did not understand. So none of us understood what Kevin said. Again, using the past tense, none of us understood what Kevin said. All the girls did not go to the playground last night. Now, this is not a direct to indirect speech question, so don't change this. Keep it as last night. Now, all the girls did not go. Right? We're using the past tense, so none of the girls went to the playground last night. None of the girls went. All the shoes in the store did not fit him. So, yay, we are using the past tense, so that's slightly easier. So, none of the shoes in the store fitted him. We have not eaten our lunch. So, none of us has eaten our lunch. Difference being, we is plural, so have, but none of is singular. We must use has. Have is plural, has is singular. Why? We is plural have is plural. None of is singular, has is singular. Exercise 5. So this question uses the word accept. Let's see what's going on here. Everyone enjoys present tense and everyone is singular, therefore enjoys comes with s. Listening to music except John. So all but John. Okay, all but John. Now you've got to ask yourself, is it enjoy with s or without s? Well, all, we are dealing with people being plural, right? All, plural, so enjoy does not come with S. Because we're not talking about John, by the way, we're talking about all. All is the subject here. So all is plural, so make sure you use a plural verb. All the girls are not going to the party tonight. Well, we are using the um, future tense. All the girls are not going, so we're not using the past tense here. None of the girls is going. Difference is all is plural when it comes to countable nouns, therefore are is plural. None of is singular, therefore is is singular. Question three, uh, level three, very rare. Let's take a look. What's so tricky about this question? Sue took every paper clip on the table and kept them in the box after the test. So we are dealing with all the paper clips. Now, first of all, all the paper clips, countable, therefore plural verb were is used okay were taken and kept in the box by sue after the test let's review all the paper clips on the table were taken and kept in the box by sue after the test do not leave out details of from the question yeah some of you might actually forget to write this part here after the test no planet in the entire solar system is bigger than Jupiter. So Jupiter is the biggest. The others are all smaller. So none of the planets in the, in the entire solar system is bigger than Jupiter. So things to take note, none of is singular. We are using the singular verb is. None of the students in my class likes durians. Well, notice what's going on in the question. None of is singular, likes is singular with s. So now we are changing it to all. All the students in my class dislike durians. Now, uh, what's going on here? All is plural, therefore, we do not have an S for our verb. It's the plural form. And you notice that I'm using the opposite of like. So if none of them likes durians, all of them dislike durians. Another possible answer is all the students in my class do not like. This is the alternate answer. So this is part B, a different question type where we are dealing with every and each. Now, every and each are always singular. So we will do questions where we are given a uh, plural form and then we are expected to change it to uh, a singular subject. So this is the first half and this is the next half. All the pupils in the school have contributed. Now, take a look here. All is plural when you're dealing with countable nouns and have is used, plural, right? Now, when we use every... Our subject is singular. So all, sorry, every pupil in the school, notice singular form, has contributed to the SPMF. All the children in my class are, well, let's take a look, all, plural, 
Therefore, R in the present tense, we have to stick to the present tense. Now we are using the singular verb, right? Because everyone is singular, so we have to use it in is over here. Every one of the children in my class is participating in the dragon dance competition. We are using a plural subject here, all the prefix, and therefore a plural verb have, and we are using the present tense. So the answer is every prefect in the school has attended a leadership camp. Has attended a leadership camp. So points to take note. Uh, has is singular. Why? Every is singular. Another thing, we cannot use every prefix with s. We have to change it to every prefect. Uh, if you notice, every one of the uh, every pupil, not every pupils, every prefect, not every prefects. All the pupils indicate interest in cooking in the cooking and softball competition. So all of them are interested in taking part in these two events. And all is plural, therefore indicates is plural, no s. Let's see. We're now going to use the singular form. Every pupil indicates with s. Why? Every is singular. All the competitors, plural, therefore were is plural and in the past tense. So we have to use the past tense here. Uh, every competitor careful, not every competitors. So every competitor, singular, was in the past tense as well, given a medal each at the end of the marathon. Actually, let me make a correction. We shouldn't use each because every competitor already has the meaning of, you know, each of them getting it, right? So the answer, correction, the answer is every competitor was given a medal at the end of the marathon. Exercise 2, again, we're dealing with every and each, and this is the first half. Question 1, all the children were given gifts for Children's Day. So we have all the children, plural, were in the past tense and plural. Now we cannot use children again, can we? So every child was. Make sure you use the past tense, except we are using a singular form now. Every child was given gifts for Children's Day. Make sure you do not forget the apostrophe S and your full stop and your capital letters. All the contestants, plural, were, plural, and in the past tense, given a certificate of participation for the art competition, capital A, capital C. So do not use contestants with S now. Every contestant, singular, was in the past tense as well. Keep it. Given a cert of participation for the art competition, capital letters, full stop, no spelling mistake. All the girls have donated generously to the charity event. So all is plural, have is plural, and in the present tense. So each of the girls has donated generously to the charity event. Each of is singular, has is singular as well. Right, we have here a level two. Let's see what's the first. Not one of the invited guests brought the program booklet. So nobody brought the program booklet. They don't know what's going to happen <laughs> for the program in the evening. Let's see. Every one of the invited guests, yeah? Every one of the invited guests did not bring. So we are using the past tense brought. So express that in this way, did not bring. All students are expected to report to the examination room 10 minutes prior to the start of the paper. So prior to just means before. So they are expected to report at the exam room 10 minutes before the start of the paper. Now, all students is plural, therefore R is used. But once we use every, that is singular, isn't it? And we cannot use students with S. So all, every student, make sure you use the singular form, every student is to report to the exam room 10 minutes prior to the, the start of the paper. And now a new question type, a part C, where we're using both. Okay, so just now we deal with every and each, which are singular. Both, we're dealing with two people, so that's plural. Question one, two, questions three to five. Ravi does not like eating durians, neither does his brother. So we're dealing with two people here. Neither Ravi, sorry, both Ravi and his brother do not like eating durians. Make sure you use the plural form and in the present tense. Sally loves painting, Mina loves painting too. So both, we're talking about two of them. Now we're dealing with a plural subject. So love comes with no S. Both Sally and Mina love painting. 
here we have both again and we're dealing with Ali and his younger brother. So both Ali and his younger brother are keen on, make sure you use the plural form, are, and the rest is quite easy. Now, keen on just means they are interested. So they are interested in participating. They are keen on participating in the annual sports day this year. Annual meaning once every year. Well, both salt and soya sauce. Yeah, so let's do that. So both salt and soya sauce was, no, we are using both, it's plural, so no longer using was, were added to the chicken soup. Here we are dealing with Mike and Joseph, so both Mike and Joseph are coming for dinner. Keep it in the present tense, except we have gone from singular to a plural verb. Exercise 2. So we have David and his sister. So both David and his sister prefer without s okay both is plural so prefer comes without s spending their weekends by the beach so both is used what are we talking about john and mary so do we use ha has no nope. we use have both john and mary have to take their driving tests again well slightly more difficult is this question why because this is one driving test for mary and this is one driving test for john but we are talking about both of them they are taking two driving tests in total because there are two people and therefore you have to use their driving tests. So we're dealing with Jack and Jen here. So both Jack and Jen like eating fried food. Larry dislikes bitter gourd. Malcolm dislikes bitter gourd too. So both Larry and Malcolm dislike. So both is plural. Make sure dislike has no s. Well, milk is uncountable, so it's singular. Chocolate is uncountable, so it's singular. But when you're dealing with both of them, two ingredients, right? We have to use the plural form, are. Keep it in the present tense, but now in the plural form. Both milk and chocolate are used to make the ice cream. And here's exercise three, where every question is of level two. Let's see. So Cristiano Ronaldo is a person, so soccer player. David Beckham is a famous soccer player as well. So when we're dealing with both of them, we are using R. Not just that. Are we going to say soccer player? No. We are talking about two of them. So we have to add an S there. So both Cristiano Ronaldo and David Beckham are famous soccer players. So Miss Chang Singular is, okay, and she's one teacher. Mr. Sebastian is... And he is one teacher. But when we're dealing with both of them, we have to say both Miss Zhang and Mr. Sebastian are, plural, primary five teachers. So we have to change is to are and teacher to teachers. Mr. Tan is a good dancer and so is his wife. So both Mr. Tan and his wife are, so both is plural, so are, and is it just one dancer? No, both are good dancers with S. Ryan is a good runner, so is his sister. So both Ryan and his sister are good runners with S again. See the pattern for this exercise? You have to change not just the verb, but also the noun. Fruits are rich in vitamin C. Fruits contain a lot of minerals. So fruits are rich in both vitamin C and Minerals. Slightly tricky here. We don't have to repeat a lot of anymore. So fruits are rich in both vitamin C and minerals. Exercise 4. So we're dealing with both Cynthia and Moses. So both Cynthia and Moses do not have a handkerchief. No, they both do not have handkerchiefs with S. So what do we have two of over here? Two subjects, don't we? So the answer is Mr. Lim teaches both English and science. What do we have two of over here? So both Andy and his sister dislike solving problem sums. Make sure there's no S right here because both is plural. So dislike, plural form. Well, we've got Gary and his sister. So both Gary and his sister enjoys with S now. Okay, enjoy playing tennis. So Susan likes with S, her twin likes, but when you're using both, both Susan and her twin like chocolate milk. Exercise 5. So we've got Abel who's not free, we've got Jack who is not free. So both Abel and Jack are, okay, present tense, singular, 
present tense singular but now present tense plural because both is plural right both Abel and Jack are not free to attend today's convocation question two Shannon is allergic to peanuts Jean is allergic to peanuts too so both Shannon and Jean are allergic to peanuts the difference is both is plural so we cannot use is anymore we have to use are by the way, in English, sheep is without an S, okay? So if it's one sheep, it's sheep. If it's two sheep, it's sheep as well. So how do we know this is just one sheep? Because belongs comes with an S. So And we are using this, which is singular, right? So this sheep belongs to farmer Lim. That sheep also belongs to him. Both sheep belong to farmer Lim. So a little tricky here, but that's it. So here we've got two people, the gentleman as well as Mrs. Wong are both intelligent, right? Oh, past tense, were, were. So both the gentleman and Mrs. Wong were intelligent. Here we've got two people, Ken and Jude. So both Ken and Jude like to paint. Exercise six. So we've got two people, Olivia and Kylie. So both Olivia and Kylie go to school by bus. Make sure that goals is converted to go. We've got Lisa and Alexa. So both Lisa and Alexa like collecting stamps. You don't have to add the word to in your answer. We've got two people here. So Min and Leo. Both Min and Leo like chocolates. Tom is singular. So likes comes with S. Joe is singular. Likes comes with S. But when you're using both to join them together, it's plural. So like comes without S. Both Tom and Joe like running. Well, the two names look quite similar. So you have to pay closer attention. Wenxi and Wenli. So both Wenxi and Wenli does. No, no, no. Does is singular. But do is what we should use. So both Wenxi and Wenli do not love to eat sushi. So probably not a big fan of raw fish. Exercise 7. And here we have the level a level two. That rock concert is wildly popular in America. The same rock concert is also wildly popular in Japan. So what do we have two of? Because Anne tells me I have to join two things, right? It's these two countries right here. So that rock concert is wildly popular in both America and Japan. Now, your answer can also be without the word both. So Sue has the same number of cookies as Peter. So both Sue and Peter have the same number of cookies. The difference here is half is plural. Neither the cook nor the maid knew where the dog went. Now, did the cook know where the dog went? Nope. Did the maid know? Nope. So both the cook and the maid did not know. Make sure we are using the past tense over here. Neither the market nor the hawker center is open for business. So is the market open? You see the word neither nor? Right? The words neither nor means the market's not open. The hawker center is not open as well. So both the market and the hawker center are not open for business. So make sure you use the present tense, except you are using a plural form because both is plural. And another answer is both are closed for business. So both the market and the hawker center are closed for business. That's fine as well, which is using basically the antonym for open, which is closed. The new phone features a new screen. It also has an ergonomic design. Ergonomic just means that it fits your body very well. The new phone features a new screen and an ergonomic design. And that's it for this exercise. 